Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the INORL Sony IndyCar Series. Today we are at Road America for the 16th race of the season. Only five rounds remaining in this in this season. One a bit one of the big story two of the, two of the two of, like Two of the big things in qualifying is that Charles Sanford in the 43 did not set a lap time, so his IndyCar struggles continue. But the bigger story is that Joseph Clark starts all the way back in 30th, and Jasmine Acosta starts 28th, Taylor Acosta starts 29th. A lot of good drivers starting in the back. Got to see how this turns out. Oh, actually, uh, he, like Zach Buchanan starts on the last row, so that's not that's not very good. Meanwhile... Ryan Acosta, who's trying to gain ground in the championship, is on the pole for this race. This is good for him as his championship contenders, as you see, are starting way in the back. Starting next to him is T.O. Bain in the 89. Row 2 is Maxwell Vady and Max Skinner. Row 3, Zachary Robinson and Rob Thomas. Row 4 has Kevin Ulrich and Brandon Bain. And round at the top 10 is Chris Rickenbaugh and Aaron Williams. Also, I don't really know why Ryan Acosta's lined up on that on that lane. Yeah, the engines are gonna fire up. There, you can clearly see it. Sanford did not post a lap time. Ryan Acosta looking for a championship. This is the perfect opportunity for him as he starts on the pole. Although I feel like, I feel like the the pole should be starting on the right side be, because that doesn't cause that doesn't seem right. Because the preferred line in the first turn is the right right lane, so that's kind of interesting. Well, we'll have to see how that turns out. All right, pace car dives for pit road. And we are green for the Road America GP. You can already see Brandon Bain looking looking to the inside free wide here. This is going to be a good start as Ryan Acosta goes down. Great, try and walk to Bain. Like, sorry, T.O. Bain, and he... Throws the block. Ryan Acosta will lead off of turn number one. Will he be able to hold the lead? All right, more free wide here. Rob Thomas, uh, Aaron Williams, and Kevin Ulrich. Okay, not free wide anymore. It w they were free wide here. As... Tyler Manson, he he dove in that corner. A good good start to this race as Rob Thomas runs wide. Zach Buchanan actually currently runs in last, so that's very that's very bad for Buchanan. Been trying to make a move, but he he can't seem to make it work. So Zach Buchanan having a very a very tough start to this race. Whoa, Sanfer almost ran into uh, Jack Nathan there. Slow car there. And then Jay also qualified very poorly. And I think Joseph Clark is actually moving backwards. This is the perfect points day for Ryan Acosta, as I think I see I think I see tire marks. I see some. Is the caution out? No, no caution. I just, I just got a little suspicious when I saw some of the dust there. Well, Ryan Acosta leads the first lap. T.O. Bain is in second. Third is Max Skinner. Fourth is Maxwell Vady, and fifth is Zachary Robinson. Who hasn't who hasn't been do, been doing that great since he won Milwaukee? 
I'd like to mention that that fail fest, Milwaukee, is not coming back next season. Rumors are circulating that 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 Ohio or Brazil will replace will replace it. And here comes Brandon Bain. He just got passed by Kevin Ulrich, but he doesn't want Chris Rickenbaugh to do the same. Trying to fight off Rickenbaugh, but the handling the handling must be going away on the 12 because Rickenbaugh didn't have much of a problem clearing the 12. Kind of surprising because that's one of the best road course cars in this series, the 12. Brandon Bain is a, is a major road ringer, so... So the handling must be going away on that 12 because now Rickenbaugh is actually breaking breaking away a little from the from the 12 and Ulrich is too. Oh, Manson ran a little wide there. If you go off in that corner, there's no hope for you. If you go off in that corner, you're done. Last time by Joe. Yes, Joseph Clark last time by was moving backwards. Now he's past Deion Scott again, and I believe is in the, and I believe is back in 30th place. Clark has really struggled so far in this race, so this is great news for Ryan Acosta, who's 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 been off to a great start. As Deion Scott goes off the road. We can still try and make some moves. Got past Barney Ward, now working on Inman J. And Maxwell Vady's getting challenged by Zachary Robinson here. Bell for fourth. And Robinson gets a spot. I'd like to mention that that the Panaz chassis has not been that strong this season. A few cars have ran the Panaz chassis. People like people like Maxwell Vady and Richard Johnson. But it seems but it seems uh the the it seems that the Delara is the way to go. Because the Panaz chassis the the Panaz cars have really struggled. The cars of a Pan, the, the Panaz chassis have really struggled. This Panaz car is you can, see the, you can see the Panaz cars have a little extra, have a, have a bigger front wing and nose than the Delaras, and they, I guess it, I guess it doesn't work very well. Richard Johnson has had a horrible season in the 036, and it doesn't appear to be getting any better. Maxwell Vady, well, he, he he's Maxwell vady has been the, uh, has basically been the, uh, he's been he's been the top dog of the Panaz program, I'd say. Vady, Vady runs well a lot, but is prone to a lot of bad luck, so... Yeah, Vady, Vady's kind of had a tough season. Oh, I, I saw Buchanan ch trying, challenging Richard Johnson. Here we go. Zach Buchanan trying to get around Richard Johnson. Lap 4 begins. And here we go. Buchanan trying to get around Richard Johnson. Johnson's actually started pretty solidly, but he's dropped like a rock since then. And there you go. Now in, uh... Wow, Johnson went way off the road. And T.O. Bain now has the fastest lap. So T.O. Bain looking a little faster than Ryan Acosta. T.O. Bain still wanting his first win. T.O. Bain's... First INORL victory is waiting in the wings. And with the announcement that Brandon Bain will soon be leaving the Earth Thousand Free Community, if T.O. Bain's ever gonna get that first win, it's gonna have to come soon. It's he's going to need to do it. He's going to need to do it now. Wait. I'll try and remember if T.O. Bain won a race or not. I I believe he has not won a race. And Rob Thomas took 10th from Brandon Bain. Brandon Bain now on the edge of the top 10. Something's clearly wrong on that. Something is clearly wrong on that 12 car. 
the handling's just gone away on that 12 car. I was expecting him to, to surge to the front, but no, he's he's sliding backwards. So something... So the handling's the handling is just not to the 12 team's liking. Luckily for Brandon Bain, pit stops are coming soon. As Kevin Orrick challenges Maxwell Vady for the fifth for the fifth spot. Doesn't look like it's going to work right now. It's still a long straightaway, but no, their, their speed's dead even. So I think Orrick. Nope, 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 nope. Vady froze. Vady froze the block. Making that Pinaz work. And Auric runs runs wide and is going to get challenged by Chris Rickenbaugh, teammate to Inman J and Ben Ward. So battle for six here. And he's going to try to use the outside, but he didn't make it work. He ran off. The, he ran off and. Auric will hold on to that spot. Wait, no, they're, no, they're still fighting, still fighting. Not over yet. Rickenbaugh gets a run. And, ooh, he's going to get the spot. No, Rickenbaugh gets the spot. And Aaron Williams now trying to get after Ulrich. Ulrich won at Mossport, and frankly, he should have won at Spa, too, but, but didn't. Well, Aaron Williams' patent's attempt did not work. Update on Zach Buchanan here. Zach Buchanan running in the 35th position. So, he's not making any progress. Joseph Clark's made a little progress. He's up to 27th. Now trying to take 26 from his teammate Jasmine Acosta. And now he can and now he comes in pit road. Green flag pit stop starting. Ryan Acosta and T.O. Bain chose not to pit this time. I'd say it's a good move on that on their part. But we gotta look out for the first caution. You see you can see Buchanan's trying to stay out. Max Skinner wins the race off pit road. Boy, he easily won the race off pit road. I suppose Acosta will come in this time. And there he is. Ryan Acosta comes in. And someone's going there. Uh, uh, that's that Skinner. That Skinner. That Skinner. 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 That Skinner. Max Skinner. 
I don't think the strategy to staying out. I don't think the strategy to staying out worked very well. Skinner goes by. I think Max Skinner just took the lead. Of course, that'd be terrible news for Zach Buchanan. That's terrible news for Zach Buchanan, though. Last thing, that's the last thing Buchanan needed. Although it looks like he he will gain a few spots. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe Skinner just had a great pit stop. That could that could be what happened. Either way, I think Max Skinner just took the lead. Gonna have to, gonna have to wait until the slap ends for confirmation, but that'd be pretty big if Skinner takes if Skinner takes over the lead. And Brandon Bain, he's dropped big time now. He's having some. He's having that. Like his pit crew is not helping his case. Brandon Bain lost some a lot of spots on pit road. I wonder how this will work because Ryan Acosta is faster than Max Skinner. All right, here we go. Is Max Skinner the leader? Yes, Max Skinner is the new leader. What a pit stop by the AJ. What a pit stop by the Foyt crew. As Max Skinner is the new leader, could could he get his first win today? Skinner has had bad luck for for, for all of, early in the season. Skinner had nothing but bad luck. Then things started to look up for him. Um, and things then things started to look up for him. And then things started to look up for him until his injuries at Mallory Park, until he suffered a crash at Mallory Park, had injuries and had to sit out. Michael Skinner drove that car didn't do for two races didn't do that well in it. Then Skinner came back and he uh, all, and he became really anonymous I'd say. You you can really he was really quiet I'd say. But now here he is leading at Road America with a big lead over Ryan Acosta. Taylor Acosta had a terrible pit stop. She's in 36. Zach Buchanan fighting for 26th now with Skyla Johnson. Both he and Joseph Clark have started to move through the field. Skyla Johnson hasn't really had the day she was looking for. She finished second in the truck race at Kentucky, but it looks like she may get the spot here from Buchanan. Yeah, Buchanan will be in 27th. Oh, uh oh, Hannah Smith, Hannah Smith, 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 Smith. Oh, she's almost right off the road. Someone did go off. Someone went off the road there. Someone in the back went off the road. And he kept it going. The driver that ran off, I... F the driver that ran off was Daniel Culp in the 79... We're no, let's pause this, let's pause this for a moment and, and rewind to see see what happened to Culp. Now there's not a very big, a very good camera, so we'll, so we'll be going on board to see what happened. And there you see he runs off the road. When you run off the road, there's not much hope for you. But and Culp hit the tire wall. But unlike most drivers who total their cars when they hit the tire wall, Culp continued on. Although it appears there may be terminal damage on that 79. Where's Joseph Clark running right now? Here he is. Joseph Clark. Currently in 23rd, moving his way up. But he's still got a long ways to go for Ryan Acosta, who is in second place. Jasmine Acosta has moved up to 21st. She has a she has four wins this season, the most of any driver, most of any driver. There you go. Brandon Bain has dropped to 18th place. This is not good for him. 
I think it's safe to say his championship hopes may may be done. Here's Rickenbaugh. Well, let's take a look at our top ten. Well, let's take a look at our at our top ten here. Max Skinner is first. Ryan Acosta is second. T.O. Bain is third. Tyler Manson is fourth. Fifth is Zachary Robinson. Sixth is Aaron Williams. Seventh, Emilio Navarro. Eighth, Maxwell Vady. Ninth is Chris Rickenbaugh. And tenth is Kevin Ulrich. Rickenbaugh's lost a lot of spots on this lap. Well, two. Skinner's been fast all season, but he's coming in. Skinner's coming down pit road. I don't think it's going. He's going. He's not going to make it on fuel. Ryan Acosta stays out. Remember, he stayed out earlier, so he's going to take three laps to go. Got to see if 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 these guys can make it on fuel. The big question is if these guys can make it on. If these guys over here can make it on fuel. Remember, they pitted on lap six, so they could make it, but but they would cut it really close. And you come to think of it, Zach Buchanan used that strategy. Yeah, there's Buchanan. Where's Joseph Clark? Did he stay out? Yeah, he did. And there you go, Brandon Bain getting ready to lose another position. Brandon Bain has been the heart has been has has, has had the heartache of the is the really been the heartache of the day the handling has just not been right on that 12 and he has dropped ever since the start and that's kind of that's and that's really strange because he, Brandon Bain is one of the top road ring is one of the top road course racers in this series so tough day for Brandon Bain Costa currently ranked as the leader. If he gets this win, that would be really big for him. Joseph Clark now is the fastest lap of the race, the points leader. Ryan Acosta, of course, he is in he's in desperate position to gain points. He's desperate trying to gain points right now. If if this goes if this race goes his way, even if he doesn't win. Uh, if he gets a top five and Clark does not do very well, then that like, that could be that could be very good for Acosta as he's gonna take two laps to go. Zachary Robinson can't make it on can't make it, and neither can Thomas Mickacook. And what else coming in? Ben Ward's coming in, and Joseph Clark can't make it. Points leader can't make it. Neither can Max Mickacook, or uh, Dion Scott, or Garrett Norton, Mason Wood, or Taylor Acosta. Barney Ward also is coming in. See if what Charles Sanford is. Yeah, he is. Hummel does not come in. And, and then Jay, he's he's not coming in. My throat's a little, my throat's a little dry right now. Well, well, can Ryan Acosta stretch it on fuel? Keep in mind, Jason Marshall stretched it on, stretched it in in the in the truck race at Carbondale to get his first win. Of course, Marshall no longer in these ser in, in my series. And a lot of the truck race, a lot, a lot of the cases of people having to stretch it on fuel occurred in the, is, have occurred in the truck series races. A lot of fuel mileage races over there. That's how Wilmer Jones got he got the win at Las Vegas. And does the cost have to come in? Coming to take the white flag, he does not have to come in. Can he make it? He's there. There it is. The whites in the air. There you go, you can see it, you can see it. Ryan Acosta taking a white flag.
Todd Nathan is not gonna be able to make it on fuel though. This this is this is like, I'm telling you right now, this is perfectly going as planned. This is this is going Ryan Acosta's way. He's in position to win this race if he can make it on he's going to win this race if he can make it on fuel. Joseph Clark did not make it on fuel and is now in the back. This is exactly what Ryan Acosta needs in order to gain ground in the championship. He needed this third win. I believe I believe this is this will be his, this will be his third win if he takes it. Of course I made that I made a mistake of Zachary Robinson in the retro series race. That recent that recent win at Watkins Glen was not his third win of the of the retro series season, but his second. So my apologies for that, Derp. Can can he make it? The Acostas have really been the winning have been the winningest people in the, in the IndyCar series. It would be a real shame to see them if they didn't come back next season. Especially Ryan and Jasmine. Jasmine Acosta is the most winningest driver in the series. And Ryan Acosta, well, he's a championship contender. Will he? And now, coming off the final corner, will he make it on fuel? And he's going to make it. He's going to make it. Ryan Acosta gets his third win of the season here at Road America. Ryan Acosta trying to stretch it on fuel. Made it work. Congratulations to Ryan Acosta. Third win of the season. Things have just went exactly how he wanted them to. Second was T.O. Bain. First win still waiting in the wings for him. Third is Aaron Williams. Fourth, Emilio Navarre. Fifth, Maxwell Vady. Finally a good run for him. Sixth, Chris Rickenbaugh. Seventh, Kevin Oreck. Eighth, Jeffrey Finguy. Ninth is Rob Thomas. And Mark Mikacook gets a well-deserved top ten. He's had bad luck all season. Aco Look at Jasmine Acosta working worked her way up the 14th. Brandon Bain finished 15th over there. Where did Zach Buchanan finish? He finished 18th. And where's Joseph Clark? Clark finished in 29th. So that is, so this is very good news for Ryan Acosta, who's going to be getting a lot of points in the championship today. Well, that's that's all. That's all we got this week. Be sure to stick around next week. Here comes the results and standings. We've been watching a production of the INORL Racing Uncontained. See you next time.